Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. A very small four streak, but that's okay. Okay, Q7DL TVGB. We got Transcendence or whatever that item is that basically just gives us flight. Uh, and Mom's Bra, which is pretty bad. Uh, good rate of damage and good fire and honestly good HP. So I'm feeling... I'm feeling like we at least will survive the first floor. <laughs> I find it hard to believe that we wouldn't survive the first floor. There's just way too much going for us. Look at this little tiny guy over here. Hey, cutie. How you doing? Okay, you're dead. Uh, you know, that's okay. We do have a bomb. Let's try and get some money out of this as well. Okay, one uh, golden chest. We will open it because we have a key to open it and do not need a key for our item room. It's going to contain Steven. Hell, that's like a really good uh, deal. One bomb and a key for a uh, damage upgrade. I'd do it 10 out of 10 times. Not even 9 out of 10. Not even 8 out of 10. Uh, 11 out of 10 maybe. But mostly just like 10 out of 10 times. I'd probably do that. Unless the damage up is like Jesus Juice. And I haven't seen my item room. Then I'd be like, eh, maybe not. But I still probably would. I don't know. Okay, item room. Where are you? This is a huge floor. Uh, XL floor? No, just a curse of the blind. Uh, fairly large floor, can't deny. Also, fair amount of consumables sitting in these, uh, things here. Full health pill is okay. Could use some bombs to attempt to get some money from these, uh, pots. And you know what? I think that is something that I'm going to inquire to do. Uh, yeah, okay, 15 cents is now, like, totally worth going to the shop. But, uh, I mainly just wanted enough money for an arcade on the next floor. But now I will absolutely make it a point to check out the shop, which might be attached to here, and said it's not in the slightest attached to here. What a weird first floor. Uh, so far, like, tons of benefit here, and I could not be happier. Do you think the big room is where we need to go? I'm gonna pretend like the big room is not where we need to go, and instead we need to go up. Okay, it's Super Pride. This could give us nine lives, I believe. Which would be pretty great if we could swing that right now. Even though, like, I'd prefer to not get it. Okay, well, we got it. So, that's fine. Dead cat. There we go. Uh, we now have 1 HP. Which makes the arcade that I had wanted a lot less valuable. Because we don't have a crap load of red hearts to deal with. But a guppy item early, you really can't complain about. You know, if we can swing guppy on this run, that would be pretty fantastic. Very beneficial as well. Uh, the spirit heart is very nice. Let's hit our shop. Our shop contains two items we don't know about. You know what? Take the top one. Bogo bombs is all right. There's nothing overly wrong with it. You know what? We're going to go big or go home. We did get enough money for either a spirit heart or an arcade. I think we'll go for the arcade just because. And parasite's a great item. Uh, this is all working out pretty well. You know what? We've had luck with the pots already. That one did not exactly pan out, but that's okay. This first floor was, like, really good. <laughs> I mean, how often do you get, uh, we're gonna get six items on the first floor? I mean, with Eden, you get two, but we're gonna have seven because of, uh, Mom's Bra as well. Wasn't counting that. We could use it, but I, I, literally, what's the point? I think that Fear Shot at times, uh, causes more problems then it does benefit especially with an enemy like monstro because you don't know where he's gonna jump so i'd rather just wait until we get a better spacebar item experimental treatment well there goes our hp uh but i think it was a damage up so who cares let's head down what a weird run already it's a good run i mean this is a great place to be in but it's a little weird nonetheless we're also in a situation where we can take uh, whatever deal with the devils they provide for us because we have nine lives. I mean, I'll kill myself to take a deal with the devil, it's good. I mean, that's just standard procedure when you have nine lives. Uh, you normally will have low HP when you take nine lives. Especially if you're getting it early in the game like we did. Uh, you just, you, you're not going to have the spirit hearts to back it up for right now. And obviously we just ran into where our red heart was just stolen away from us. There is our arcade, which frankly is completely irrelevant unless it's the bed and it's not so let's just pretend that doesn't exist pop into this another key more money no problems there 
And this, this is good. What do we got in here? Uh, okay, Midas Touch is okay if we can get something to go along with it. And you know what? Blank card is totally the item uh, that I would love to have here. And we just got our secret room as well. Let's buy blank card. Go to the secret room. It's a key. I'm going to use a key to blow up this guy. Better deal with the devil chance even though we're guaranteed one. Pheromones. And then you know what? I am going to buy the spirit heart. Just because a little extra protection never hurt anybody. Probably, I mean, that could be deemed as a bad play to buy that spirit heart. Because we're likely to kill ourselves on a deal with the devil no matter what. So buying a spirit heart here is probably not as valuable. But if we get an HP upgrade from this boss, uh, and then we have spirit heart protection for the next floor, after taking a deal with the devil, then cost that red heart, then I suppose this could be deemed as a good play. But, I mean, let's see what happens. We did get an HP up, and our deal with the devil contains... Uh, hell, I... I think you just take Gimpy, and you call it a day. It's not exactly what I was hoping for. And you know what? I think it's also valuable for us to go check out our cursed room. I mean, we have one Guppy item already. Cursed room can sometimes contain cards, which we are looking for at this point. Two Spirit Hearts also makes that entirely worthwhile basically gained one and a half spirit hearts for no good reason uh let's head down to the next floor this is a great run what are we looking for really uh obviously a card slash rune i mean a year rune would be beautiful um but any any good card hero font basically wins the game if i'm being honest with you uh blank card hero font's just way too powerful and I mean, what else could be really good? Obviously, Blank Card Yer is your dream, because if we get to the chest, it just becomes stupidly fun. But, I mean, who cares, really? We'll see if we can swing that. If we can't, we can't. Oh, well. Blank Card Degas would also be okay. Uh, being able to rid ourselves of a curse every single floor would basically be like having an active black candle uh, for each floor. Which does have some benefit, I can't deny. One more damage up, and I'm going to feel like we are, like, in a ridiculously good position to not need any items for the rest of the run. Uh, and that basically just means get one deal with the Devil that contains something like a Pact, the Mark, Abaddon, uh, anything, and we'll be set. Steven kind of gave us that boost early, and I think Experimental Treatment helped us out as well in the damage department. Gemini is useless in all seriousness, but, I mean... It's not a bad item, so there's no reason not to take it. Okay, poops are not a problem. I think we do go big or go home. Blow up uh, some mushrooms in the hope of a lucky as hell magic mush pull. Instead, we're going to get nothing because I'm not going to waste bombs on... You know what? I'll waste right here. One more. Give me magic mush. You know what? Liberty Cap, I think, is worth the... Uh, deal here and i'm gonna hold on to two of spades uh for a while actually and we're gonna blow up this guy get nothing out of it that's okay uh i'm gonna hold on to two of spades mainly because if we get into a position where uh we get a yara rune i'm gonna want a crap load of keys so let's just hold on to it see if we can stack up more keys and then double them at a later date because with every key uh, that you get, you're getting an exponential gain by popping uh, two of spades. So you might as well make sure you take the most out of that. Get the most out of that. Forsaken's not a problem here. Uh, a deal with the devil that we don't need would be nice. And we did get one. And it contained the mark. So that's basically like exactly what I asked for. Let's head down. I'm going to take a drink of water. Okay. that's That's good. That's some good stuff. I drink a lot of water, and I, I like that's a good thing. For those of you that are... Oh, we have blank card to a spades. What the hell am I doing? Uh, <laughs> I, I can already picture all the people that have said something with, uh, why are you waiting to use two of spades? Just blank card it and get all of the uh, keys you could ever want. Yeah, that, that's a very fair point. Thank you for letting me know. But uh, I drink a lot of water. I'm not a huge... Oh, I'm, like, literally not a milk drinker at all. I think it's disgusting, which is, like, really bad. Uh, you, you should drink milk. Sure, one up. Uh, I'll take it. 
And we will blow up these guys in the middle. Steam sale would be dope. And nothing instead. That's fine. Let's grab the money. And head on back out. If I drink a lot of water, uh, I drink not a lot of juice. But would you like some a juice? If you know what that's from, I, I, you're a great man. Uh, but I drink tea a lot, which is basically just water, but like slightly flavored due to herbs and spices and a little bag. What the frick? It just started like pouring rain outside. It was sunny five minutes ago. I apologize if you can hear the rain in the background. I try not to record when it rains. Uh, just because, like, it's fairly annoying to have to listen to. But I apologize. It was literally sunny. I was like, yeah, Isaac. I always do an Isaac a day. We're taking so much damage on this floor. I always do an Isaac a day. And, uh, you know, now is the perfect time for my Isaac of the day. It was sunny. Life was good. And then all of a sudden, like, torrential downpour in the back of my, uh, room here. Okay, that's fine. Just, just, like... I apologize if you didn't come here for rain, and you're now getting rain. It'd be pretty cool if we could get magic mush or mini mush from these mushrooms, just because, like, we'd be close to the fungi transformation, which is not often received. Nothing? Okay. Uh, we still have enemies in here, apparently. Hi, two poops. Which would be a awful name of ban. Uh, speaking of two poops, we now have butt bombs which are actually like pretty decent in terms of a bomb synergy. If we can just get more bombs in the future, we'll be real set. Obviously looking at our keys, we're in like, I don't know, pretty decent position in terms of keys. And really this run is just uh, in steamroll territory right now. Steam sale would actually be great here. Uh, and it would make me want to do the hush fight on this one, which is not something that happens often. Uh, instead, we're going to just get some money which can go towards a donation on a future floor, or just uh, buying something. I mean, all you need is restock. It's like the Beatles song, but a little bit different. You know, all you need is Steam Cell restock. Da 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 da. All you need is Yara. Yara? The gaz. I mean, I suppose you just pop uh, two of spades here, and then take your de gaz rune and go. Stain is not going to be a problem. I, I now have a absolute disdain for the stain because of that one hell run uh, where we literally, I couldn't get past the stain on the third floor. I absolutely hate this guy now. So I try to beat the crap out of him every time I see him. Which is, you know, that's a good place to be in. Okay, so what is your favorite, like, snack food? And a lot of people, and you're going to have some problems with this because... My snack food may be different from uh, your snack food. Like, for instance, I love, I have a bag of Cheerios and a bag of Rice Krispies, like, close nearby, and that's a snack for me. A lot of people are like, hey, loser, uh, in case you haven't noticed, those are in the cereal aisle, and cereal is a breakfast food. Like, look, cereal is great for breakfast, although I don't like milk, so, like, the cereal and milk thing doesn't pan out. But cereal as a snack is totally okay. Don't even say a word to me about no cereal as a snack. Okay, we found our boss room ridiculously fast here. But cereal as a snack is great, and I will do cereal as a snack 10 out of 10 times. But uh, th that's not part of the point here. What is the best snack food? Because I also got uh, Snack Factory's pretzel chips next to me, and these are actually like some of the greatest things I've ever had. They are absolutely delicious. If you really needed a delicious pretzel-like snack to chew on, Okay, that's like a really weird way to put that. Uh, but if you want a good snack, pretzel chips, man. They're delicious. I'm not sponsored by pretzel chips in the slightest. They don't even know I exist. Uh, but I promise you, pretzel chips are the way to go. Eat pretzel chips now. Pretzels as a whole are like a delicious snack. I'm a big fan of popcorn. I mean, I'm not a big fan of like flavored popcorn. When you start doing the whole like dump cheese all over my popcorn or... You, like dump a crap load of butter some butter totally okay crap load of butter not okay um but just like a normal plain delicious popcorn i'm totally down for do we even take anything in here i think you check the card high priestess i don't think that's valuable i think you stick with the gauze uh and i think you just call it a day in there 
let's get out of this floor. We found everything super quickly. Uh, boss Rush is totally in the cards for us. A teleport card would be great, but uh, not appearing yet, so that's okay. But other various snacks, obviously you got your chips, uh, your chips and your dips. You know, some people like their sour cream and onion chips that you dip in some cheese. Uh, and you know, that's that's how you live your life. Sure, that's fine. I'm not a big fan of sour cream and onion chips. Okay, what is the best brand of chips? Not the best chip flavor. You know what, we'll get to the best chip flavor in a sec. Uh, but in terms of brands of chips, I think that you gotta go Lay's first. It's like your all-American classic. Sure, they can be a little bit greasy, but they got all the flavors. They got like, if you're going for just like unhealthy chip, then Lay's you gotta think is best here. You know, your original, you got your salt and vinegar, which we're gonna get to in a second, but that's my favorite chip. Uh, I mean, there's options. It's actually like pretty useless for us, but we might as well take it because we have the money to do so. Uh, I think in a close second, you gotta go Snyder's. I mean, Snyder's kettle cooked, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, kettle cook cooked chips as a whole, I think, are at times like better than regular chips. And that may be like blasphemy to some people, but let me tell you, like, kettle cooked chips, pretty damn good. Okay, blank card, Yara. That, that's like the dream scenario here. So we will happily do that. Also, like, a free ghost dry baby is also fine. Ghost Dry Baby is the newest uh, member of the Isaac community. As a combination of Ghost Baby and Dry Baby, you may have heard of them. What other like delicious snacks? Don't even give me the pork rind crap. Like, no, that's not a good snack. Plus, they're probably like incredibly unhealthy for you. I don't know the exact whereabouts of uh, how pork rinds fit in the healthy scale, but just listening to the name of them, pork rinds, do you really think those are healthy? Uh, there's no way in hell. Okay, you know what? Pop the guys. And then let's continue exploring for a little bit. We still have time to explore, so we might as well look for our item room and look for a teleport card that takes us back out here so we can get the year rune. Or, like, randomly get deep pockets, but that seems uh, pretty unlikely, if I'm being honest with you. We also have a double key room, I think. Either that or a double bomb room. I can never really tell. Other good snack foods. Okay, here's a, like, wrench in the plan. What about, uh, did that key just land on top of him? Why would you do that? Uh, what about sun chips? Can you put sun chips in, like, a top five chip? Because in my opinion, garden salsa sun chips, delicious. Original sun chips, delicious. Everybody's all into harvest cheddar, uh, and the French onion, but I, I can't do that. The thing is, I like onion a lot, like the flavor of onions. I don't know why I don't like sour cream and onion chips or uh, French onion sun chips. It's just kind of ignorance on my part, I suppose. Okay, free guppy item is pretty okay as well. Uh, basically just makes us one step closer to guppy, which nobody here can complain about. Guppy is a beautiful, beautiful cat. It's dead, but like it's beautiful nonetheless. Don't let death define your beauty. That's my tip of the day. I'm sure that it's incredibly useful for you to uh, know. But okay, flavors of chips. Let's get into that. So we, we got, let's go uh, in terms of best chip. I think you go Lay's, then you go Snyder's, then you go Sun Chips. That, that's my final uh, ranking. We'll do top three. So, and then best uh, snack. I think you go chips first, then you go pretzel second, popcorn third. I mean, pretzels are an all-American classic, and by all-American, I mean, like, pretzels are actually German, but, uh, it's still, like, it's a good snack. Let's see, Undefined. That's a weird one. Uh, I don't think we can take that. We got Blank Cardiera. That's, like, the dream scenario. Why would we throw away the dream scenario for not the dream scenario? That's what I'm saying. So, best flavor of chip? Let's start with, uh... I mean, okay, I'm a little bit biased, but I think I'd go salt and vinegar first. I mean, I love me a good salt and vinegar chip. I think second, I would go with uh, probably barbecue, but that's once again, like, a controversial one. Not a lot of people like barbecue chips. Uh, 
third, probably just an original good chip. Uh, fourth. I mean, what other flavors of chips are there? You got the stupid Lay's ones that are like, here, here's a New York Reuben uh, inside your chip. I don't know why anybody wants that in their life. That just sounds disgusting to me. Um, although I will say the truffle fries that they did the one time, those were pretty damn good. If the item is good in boss rush, we'll take it, but I don't see us actually doing boss rush here. It's just, we didn't get the teleport card, and I figured why would we force that to occur. Take the Polaroid, check out here. Do you take Brimstone here? I think you do. I mean, why not? We should have taken Dark Bum first. That's my bad for screwing that up. Uh, and in here, a Red Heart, Pokeball. I mean, that's all really bad, so let's just not do that. And then we'll head down. You can get some cool synergies with Brimstone, so I'm not uh, super upset about taking it. And I will think about doing Hush as well on this one. We could have some fun yarrowing the chests in the middle, especially if there's a battery charge uh, on the shop. We could do some cool stuff with that. So we'll see what happens. I think it's worth it to crack into this stuff. Our damage isn't incredible uh, with Brimstone right now. It's, it's really good, but it's not like walk into a room, destroy things. What's going to suck is how many times in a run, well, <laughs> in a run, I, I'm going to take a guess. Yeah, a one would be my uh, over under when you hear what I'm about to say. Uh, I was about to say, how many times a day do you get Tammy's head in the womb? It just seems like no matter what, you're going to find a golden chest, you're going to open it up, it's going to be Tammy's head. It's just ridiculous. Why do we have 10 lives? Oh, we picked up the one up. That's right. My bad for forgetting. Um, but if we pick up Tammy's head, it's going to be a bit of a shame because I'm not going to take it. Uh, even though, obviously, that was incredible. Uh, obviously, that is a guaranteed win to take Tammy's head in that scenario. Uh, but we're not going to do it. I mean, that's no fun. Why do we take Tammy's head when we got Blank Card Yera? We could also start to uh, Yera Spirit Hearts that drop in an attempt to stack up our HP. I mean, that's like the intelligent thing to do. Are we intelligent people, though? Uh, that's a real good question. I'm not. You are, but I'm not. Okay, good enough. Another key. I mean, 96 keys should cover us uh, on this run. Don't see how we could ever use up 96 keys. Obviously, yarring the chest, we're going to get, you know, pretty damn close, but... I still don't think that that will happen. Here's our boss, Tinted Rocks. I'm still looking for it just because of Small Rock. Uh, but obviously the HP is also useful. What did I even freaking tell you? Uh, there's Tammy's head for you. Probably could have just like, I don't know, used it on the boss. That would have been intelligent, huh? Uh, but have I ever been a smart man? I am not a smart man. Gen A. Okay. Uh, take the Pentagram here. We get Leviathan, which is great. And then we just head down. No reason to stay here. Uh, life is fine as is. Curse of the Maze on the Scarred Womb 2. Are we going to do Hush? Uh, you know what? I think I am going to try to do Hush. And my reasoning is because of Blank Card Yera. I think it could be a ton of fun. And I also think that if we could get just like, I don't know, Guppy to come out of one of these, that would be great. Paralysis is like real bad. I was hoping for a Balls of Steel, like, super clutch out of nowhere. If we find a Spirit Heart on this floor... Okay, am I going to reroll my entire run? Why do I feel like that is something I wouldn't inquire to do? Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Uh, this is... What is this? Wheel of Fortune? Uh, here's what we do. We Yara all this. Then we... Go get another charge. And actually, I think we might do two more charges. We're going to get, like, a ton of consumables in that room. Uh, you better prepare yourself for this one. I got plans beyond plans that you don't even know about yet. Okay. Let's do the big room. This will give us the full charge. This is, like, the easiest big room in the womb to do with Brimstone. Beautiful. Head down. Coming back over here. We are going to... Yara all this again. Now we're going to... Uh, do we want to Yara one more time? Let's Yara one more time. It's not going to hurt anybody. We're doing fine on time, so Hush is still like not a problem. 
if that is something that we're really wanting to do, which I think it is. We will check out this boss trap room as well, just in case there's something, you know, you walk in and triple shots sitting there, that'd be cool. Uh, or a deal with the devil that gives us Krampus was not really what I had in mind, but I suppose I'll take it. Uh, obviously, lump of coal is your desired output here. Uh, and I think it does synergize with brimstone. I can't quite remember. Why am I using bombs here? I don't know. Uh, I think you do still... Are you actually serious? Well, you no longer pop that one, I'll be honest with you. No reason to. Uh, let's get more charges. Basically, the ability to go and grab eight spirit hearts to head down to the uh, hush fight in is a good place to be in. Beautiful. We got our charge back. Please be a secret room so we can just kind of like... Okay, fair enough. Uh, please be a secret room so we can just like, I don't know, go back quickly. Okay, never mind. Let's just head back. No biggie. And what will basically happen here as we're yearing all the spirit hearts, but we're also yearing the Wheel of Fortune cards. And what that now allows us to do is pop all of these and blow all of them up at the same time, which is going to create a butt ton of consumables. Beautiful. Uh, and then we pick up all the spirit hearts, like so. And then you just like pick up all this crap as well. Uh, and we end up in a good financial position. We end up in a good consumable position. We can take Abel just for the hell of it. Call it a day. That's a good place to be in. I'm content with that. We now have enough money to make the hush fight uh, incredibly valuable for us. I mean, imagine if we get restock and chaos in the hush shop. That'd be pretty cool. Not entirely likely, but cool nonetheless. All right, okay, uh, what will we use our next Yara on? Good question. I don't got an answer for you. We're probably just gonna hold on to it. Don't see any reason to freak out and use it on anything. I would really love it if in Afterbirth Plus you can make different shaped rooms. Like, non-square style rooms. Just have, like, uh, you know, different Tetris pieces. You still have the square type rooms. But make it where you can have various Tetris pieces of rooms. And just give this game a little bit more variety. Uh, which it already is the game of variety. I mean, every run is different. Uh, but I feel like you could do so much more with it in terms of that kind of thing. Okay, we're, we're still doing very okay here. I honestly want to stick in Spirit Heart territory so we have the invincibility from the Polaroid. Obviously, the dream scenario is go down into the hush fight, get a joker card out of one of those chests, brings us to a deal with the devil that has a guppy item sitting in it, just so we can become guppy. But let's head down. We are going to Yara the chests that are sitting here, Yera. like so. Then we're going to check the shop. Oh, you're going to do this to me. Okay. Uh... Yara these one more time. Now grab this. It's a rules card. That's not really what I had in mind. Uh, take this now. Come in here. Crack into all these. This is going to give us a crap load of stuff. I love it. Uh, enough money to donate a ton. Ringworm is not useful. Uh, just grab all of our consumables. What are the cards? Hermit, 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 hermit. Fair enough. Uh, that's what you get for doubling chests. Head in here. Uh, I mean, you probably take Bob's Curse. Just because... Okay, there we go. Uh, just because Shoop the Whoop wouldn't do a whole lot for us right now. Little Haunt is pretty useless here. But we'll still take it. I mean, it'll do a little bit of uh, damage for us. Bob's Curse now also gives us two bomb synergies. We got that and the other one. Uh, does that do anything? This is one of those times where you check. I mean, split shot plus uh, thingamajiggy. And by thingamajiggy, I mean Cricket's body. So, Cricket's body. Synergies. Brimstone overrides the splash effect. 
So this is one of those times where I think it's actually valuable to just take a syringe. Uh, we're one away from spun. We're full on HP. Uh, let's run in here and see if we can get ourselves up to... Okay, please, like, see if we can get ourselves up to... Please just jam yourself behind here so I don't... There we go. Uh, if we can get ourselves up to 300, that'd be sick. We've been stealing a lot from our donation machine, so... If we can donate a little bit back, that'd be nice. Overall, was this uh, Hush Place worth it? Probably not, but we'll likely get spun on the chest because of blank card carrying chests. Uh, you know, a syringe has to show up eventually. And this is taking a lot of our money, which is nice. It jammed finally. Let's fight Hush. Safety cap is not what I want. Let's fight Hush. Grab this key. Beautiful. And let's go to town. This should be a like fairly long fight just because brimstone uh is not your fastest uh charge up with hush but this is fine uh we, we can talk about you know flavors of chips or something i don't know I'm trying to think of other like really good snack foods you know then you got your crackers i mean some people like ritz crackers i'll tell you what i like ritz chips have you ever had those okay no this is the ultimate Baked Lay's. Baked Lay's are delicious. You could eat an entire bag of baked Lay's in one uh, sitting. Like a full family size bag. Like those are just good chips. Um, but just crackers. You got wheat thins. I mean a lot of people need like cheese or a dip. Something like Nutella to go on your... Uh... Okay, that's another thing. I just said Nutella, but it's Nutella. I mean, do you really think that... Uh... You make Nutella with hazelnuts? I don't think you do. You make them with hazelnuts. Hence, Nutella. That's just my opinion on that matter. Uh, I just realized that we can, like, do damage with Midas Touch on this guy. It's not doing a whole hell of a lot, but it's still something. We gotta be careful. We can't see what our HP is. Uh, so let's not, like, just slam into Hush for no good reason. I mean, this guy can take down your HP pretty fast. And with nine lives, I really don't want to have to redo this fight uh, again with one HP. It kind of ruined my day, to be honest with you. I'm having a real good day so far. I mean, getting Brimstone on an Isaac run of the day is also incredibly nice. You know, Little Haunt is just doing a fantastic job in this fight, just standing by my side doing nothing. Uh, you know, it could be better. You don't want to aggro on the Hush? That's fine. I suppose you're a ghost. He's a fetus. Uh... You guys got stuff in common, I suppose. You're both, you're both, you know, somewhat alive. You know, ghosts are just a disembodied member of society you know, after death. And fetuses are just like a bundle of cells before uh, birth. I don't know. I, half the time, I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. If we can actually finish this fight, though, uh... That'd be nice. I think we've lost like four hearts. And we had full HP, so uh, I'm not overly concerned here. I'd like it if we can find more stuff to Yara. Not in this fight, obviously, because there's nothing to Yara. I mean, we could Yara these hearts, but what benefit is that really serving us to do that? Especially since we don't even have a battery charge, we can't even Yara this stuff. But we're going to finish this fight here. I mean, th there's no doubt about that. Uh, we're not going to die on the hush like I have many times on YouTube before. Uh, we'll be totally fine here. We will head up to the cathedral and then basically just like try to storm through the cathedral in order to get to the chest. Because that's the only thing that we really care about here is getting some crazy synergies with Brimstone. I would love to take like Tech X and then Homing Shots. So we can fire out Homing Brim Circles. Or Ludo. Ludo would be sick as well. I could get down with some Ludo action. I'd love to find a curse room on this floor so that we can become Guppy. Uh, since we've had two Guppy items for the longest time. How did our damage, like, become good? Is that Lump of Coal doing that? Or, uh, what? Because I didn't notice our dam- Okay, seriously. I didn't notice our damage being all that phenomenal before we got to this floor. And now it's, like, really good. Uh, more Spirit Hearts is okay uh the eternal heart i didn't even see that we picked that up but it will provide us with enough benefit take this just for the bob transformation we can yara these battery charges uh, 
Yeah? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, this should be how this works. Uh, we might as well Yara these just so that if, uh, something appears on this floor, we can Yara to our heart's content. You know what? Sure. I think this could be fun. If we can get, uh, any kind of item from this, could be good. We could Yara that chest. We can wait until the spirit hearts come out of this thing, and then Yara those. Okay, Holy Grail was the item we got. It's not exactly the best, to be honest with you. Uh, but we'll take it. It's an HP up, sure. You don't see that item often, so I'm okay taking it. We just killed our HP for no good reason. Uh, you know what? I, I mean, I should... I should come and at least finish this job so that we can fight Mega Satan. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful and beautiful. Uh, we obviously can't do it one more time, but when we get another Spirit Heart, I'll come back. I mean, this is a Mega Satanable fight. We should, or Mega Satanable run. We should take the time to do it. It's not hurting anybody. Uh, besides ourselves by stepping on the spikes, but that's beside the point. Luck up. Hey, that's nice. Any luck we can get on the chest is good. Actually, it's like totally inconsequential because uh, we're going to be getting crap loads of items from the start anyway, but whatever. You don't need... Who cares about the logistics of the situation? There's also like a 500% chance that I'm not going to walk back once I get another heart uh, in order to get that second key piece. So you might be dreaming on Mega Satan on this one. I'm pretty lazy. If these guys drop a heart, then I'll go back. They didn't. Okay. Uh, say goodbye to Mega Satan. Uh, I'm lazy. That That's all it comes down to. I'd rather just get down to the chest and start cracking into uh, our doubling crap. Okay, Isaac. Shouldn't be a problem. I mean, one heart is a little bit crappy. But we should be fine here. At least Little Haunt decided to show up and put in some work. Not a lot, but some. This run's gonna end up being, like, a lot longer than it should be. We've been powerful from the first floor on this one. I mean, from the first floor, we were like, yeah, this run is pretty damn okay. Uh, but we did hush, and that eats up time. So I'm, I'm, I'm not concerned. We'll start doubling as soon as we get here. And we'll basically just double until we can't see the screen. Because why not? Is it really, like, a fun Isaac run if you don't blank card Yera? Uh, to the utmost extreme. Tears down sucks, but, like, who cares? We're gonna be getting, like, 25 tier upgrades here shortly. Basically, I just, I want to get Guppy, uh, somehow. I don't care how, but please just give me Guppy somehow. And then give me Tech X or Homing Tears or both. If we can get any of that combination, I'm gonna be content as hell. But I will do this entire floor in order to get the most doublings possible. We really should fire focus on one, then go to the other. You know, Isaac 101, if you got uh, two bosses in a room, don't try to fight both at the same time. Fight one at a time, and then take care of uh, that scenario that you got going on. It's a smart thing to do. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm, like, totally wrong here. Just blow this cra uh, crappy guy up. Explosivo, I mean, hell, it does nothing for us unless we get a d4 or something in our, one of our first things and we re-roll entire run which I will totally do uh, 10 out of 10 absolutely uh, red HP sure there's the heart that you wanted me to get we'll probably also get dad's key here which I also just realized uh, and that will allow you people to get your mega satan fight that you wanted anyway so we'll inquire to do that I think Lumpicole is what's giving us the great damage, so we should try to do that as often as possible. I think one more doubling after this uh, will be good. I mean, maybe maybe another one after that. I'm a little bit greedy. I want to see all the stuff we can get. I haven't had a blank card year run in like a really long time, so I think that this is valuable for us to take advantage. A chest gives us holy water. That's a game changer makes everything uh slightly more holy i think that's like the only purpose of the item sad onion that's a good item brownie brownie's a pain in the rear i'll still take damage on this yep there we go this 
despite having incredible damage. It's just inevitable. Uh, Joker, pop it right away. Guppy. There it is. Beautiful. Uh, what a time to be alive. So, we now are Guppy. We will pop this to get into Polaroid territory. Take our Yara Rune. Walk on back. Double these chests. Do we crack into them or do we wait one more time to double? I mean, that's a lot of chests. <laughs> We're going to wait one more time. Double once more. Unless we literally run out of times to get charges, but we shouldn't. I mean, we still got a fair amount of floor here. Okay. Guppy plus Brimstone's obviously, like, really good. Uh, we're going to be spawning a ridiculous amount of flies. Beautiful. No chest. That's fine. Guppy's tail would have been a great pickup on this run. Uh, like, a lot earlier. So that we could have become Guppy and had, uh, all that. But let's go open chest now. We're going to see what happens. If we get the D4 or D100 early in the openings... Then I will, I mean, D100, I will step out of the room and then use so we don't re-roll all the chests. But, uh, okay, let's go. So, Robo Baby, Proptosis, sure. I mean, let's just, let's screw it. <laughs> just slam into stuff. I see Eden's Blessing, I would love to have that one, please. I also see Ludo, I would love to have that one. Uh, I see Thunder's Dies, sure. Let's get the Strange Attractor, that's not the best. Uh, Eve Mascara, sure. That's the soul down there, I like that a lot. Uh, Bumbo, come join the party, bud. Sack Dagger, I love it. Beautiful. Uh, Isaac's Heart, let me have Isaac's Heart. There we go, that's the good stuff. Uh, Mystery Sack, sure. Loki's Horns, excellent. Best Bud, Cancer. Rubber Cement, I don't even know how that would work with this. Prayer Card, uh, the Halo. Game Pack crap. No guillotine. Let me have it. Uh, Nod leaf. Sure. Mom's eye. Excellent. I mean, there's the D4 and the D100. Am I going to do that right now? No, because we'll breakfast ourselves faster than you can scream. Uh, there's Taurus. D100. Satanic Bible. I really, I can't really move, to be honest with you. Let's just like walk out of the room real quick. Walk back in. This is good. We could kill ourselves with uh, Judas' shadow. We'd have to wait, like, 45 years to get through all of the, uh, things. So I don't think we're actually going to do that. There's Iron Bar. Pay to play. Mom's wig. Please, like, allow me to get Dad's key. Anti-grav? How the frick does this even work? Tiny Planet? Anemic? Uh, Ball Tar? Mom's Perfume? Lost Contact? Scorpio? Leo? Monstro's Lung? What the hell is going on? Uh, Ares. Butterbean. The Scissors. Flush. I, I see, like, Virgo and something else. There's Libra. That's actually horrible. Uh, we're now ridiculously fast. Okay, please, like, Pyromaniac, sure. I, I just want this Virgo pickup. I don't know why I want it so much. Okay, so, uh, Dust Touch. Tech point five, Sure. Dead Onion. Okay. Beautiful. Dead Onion. 2020. What, does that even do anything? What is this run right now? Money equals power. That's a good one to pick up. It's like it all stats up times 400. Sad Bombs. Uh, that's going to be dope. Infestation 2 is cool. Okay. Uh, I think that we're finally at a point where I feel comfortable leaving this room. So, what do our Sad Bombs look like? Alright. Yeah. That, I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> Reasons I love Isaac. Stuff like that. And the fact that it's scatter bombs. Oh my god, my computer like actually can't handle this. We're getting Taurus as soon as we walk into a room. Holy crap. Okay. Yep, yeah, you can't handle that. <laughs> my computer can't do this. I can feel it like heating up as I'm playing. <laughs> What the actual hell? <laughs> oh my god. We'll open that chest. Damn straight we will. Dad's key. Now, common cold. Pretty useless. It won't even let us pick it up. There we go. 
Okay. Just throw down bombs. Let's go. Yeah. I want all the bombs. Fill my screen. Holy crap. Okay. Well, if you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.